Greetings and welcome to How to Sew a Mole. This video is for beginners, students that have not sewn before. Before you, you see that you have a pattern for the mole. This should have been provided by your instructor. The first thing you will do once you've assembled your materials, the pattern, scissors, thread, a needle. You'll be cutting these out, but I didn't want to destroy the main copy and something to stuff it with. You could use cotton squares, cotton swabs, fabric, or other items. Do not use any edible items, whether they're cooked or not. And this is the fabric that I've selected. Cut off the paper. Fabric, the two large pieces at a time. The better that you trace, the better that you cut, the better the quality of your product will be. I'm going to take the fabric that I've selected and trace them. Since I have a permanent marker as my pen, I'm going to put it on something so that it doesn't go through. Since this is a very dark fabric, I'll trace it on the light side so I can see better. When you're doing this, you need to make, make sure that if you have a fabric that's reversible, notice you have what's called a good or visible side of the fabric and one that would be the interior. You need to be careful how you trace it. Because of the size of this pattern, I will trace it like this and again. The better job you trace, the better job you cut, the easier it will be to put your mold together. You now cut these out. The next thing you're going to do is thread your needle. In order to, to get the correct amount of thread, you're going to measure it. An easy way to measure a yard of thread is nose to arm. Almost everyone I know wets it by putting it in their mouth. You may certainly use a different technique if you'd like. The needle was threaded. Take the two ends, make them even. I'm going to hold it up so that you can see a little better what I'm doing because it seems like we're losing it in the, in the pattern of the fabric. So, take them, make them even. Make a loop. Make a second loop. For this mole, I want the darker to show on his sides here, and I want the lighter color on his belly. So, I will put the sides I want on the outside together. Start at the nose, please. Pull it till you get to the knot. Notice, you can pull it through. That's not the purpose. The purpose is to have the knot hold the thread in place as you sew. even. Let's see if the re result is on the other side. See that we have the, the structure of the mole. The thread that was used is pretty well hidden. Uh, if you stuff it too full, you'll see it. And in fact, if you stuff it too full, you can actually show when I sew it. So I have to put the sides that I want showing together. Kissy face is what I call it. Since I have my thread at the back, I'll start here. Please make sure that when you do this, all three of them are together. And notice you should start making sure that the arms line up. Get the fabric where you want it. And now you want all three of the pieces to be caught by the thread. And you're noticing, I hope, that I am running out of thread. Perhaps you are also. When you get to the point where it's difficult to take the needle back and forth, you should consider cutting off the needle. And to do that, the easiest way to do it is approximately here. The reason I left a little bit of thread, it is easier to find a needle with a little bit of thread than no thread. I'm 
and then I will separate the thread. Pretend that I am tying a shoe. Do not pull it tightly. You're trying to make a knot, but a gentle. So I have my piece of thread. I will resume where I start, where I stopped. So here is the knot from the last one. Let me double check that my seams are still lined up and that this is still going the way I want it. Yes, it is. I will start past, back behind where the knot was. Get to the very end. If you would remember how we did at the tail, we need to do the same thing at the head. We need to make sure that the pattern lines up. Notice it's starting to look three-dimensional, and if we turn it the right way, we'll see that things are working out. And we'll see that the darling mole has a beautiful little paw. And he can wave. But the paws are lined up again. When we go up to the nose, we want to make sure that we catch all three pieces of fabric. to the end of the sewing process and the mold. When you get to approximately here in your sewing, we will stop, reverse the needle, and stuff it. Please leave the thread and the needle attached because we are not done with sewing. We are going to Turn them all inside out and see what kind of a job we do. So I already have one paw out. You have to get it at his nose and shape it. There's his nose. And his other paw has to come out. And you have to do this at this time. If you don't do it now, it won't get done. So having a few issues, but he still is darling, as I'm sure your mole will be. And we will open him out. Make sure I still have my needle and thread. Tie those a little bit tighter. Turn the, the fabric so that I can see what I'm doing. And now I will stuff the scraps for his head. Because they're smaller, you could manipulate them a little better, and you can stuff them in there. Head. What I will use now is my material that I have to actually stuff them all. These are nice because they'll fit nicely to stuff his paws. Same for cotton balls. Fabric will do the same. Sometimes it's better to use smaller pieces. So we will make sure that he has his paws stuffed carefully. Jump and climb with the other one. Notice we're pulling the, the thread tight. And notice that we now have what's called raw edges. These are edges where you're not seeing a fold in the fabric, you're seeing the edges themselves. That is not supposed to be shown. So, what you're going to do. Let's take this and do something called a whip stitch, overcast stitch, or blanket stitch. I've heard it called all different things, and I've had people tell me that none of those names are right. So, this is what we use to close things. Small stitches, overcast the edge. You want to cast all of it, and you want small, tiny stitches. Notice as you go. You keep folding it in so that all the people are seeing is the fabric's folds.
way to the end and in fact we've gone past it to make sure that it's not come undone. One way to do it would be to take the needle through the stitching that you just did pull it out the other side and cut it off and then the loose thread is cut there and you have sewn your first mold and many students put eyes, nose, other things on them to make them more decorative and more attractive and fun However, most instructors, for your first mold, this would be just fine. Um, if we get enough hits, we will next time show Mrs. Rummel's Hall of Fame. Thank you for viewing this video.